Hello everyone, welcome back. Today in this video, we will see how to take XPath or CSS selector with the help of regular expression. So the question arises, when we need regular expression and what is regular expression? See, when we need regular expression, suppose we need to take a locator where I will show you with example. Suppose this is the page we are going to automate. Right click, click on inspect and you will see here. Let's do this uh, heading. So here, if you see here, here are the, see this is a simple page. So we can take the locator very easily. Directly we can take the text welcome to programmer word or maybe directly we can take the class. But here the class name is only two words so we can use it but in some of the um, website uh, basically in e-commerce and all if you go there will be a lot of big big uh, class names will be there a lot of words will be there in uh, one class itself and in few cases suppose this entry title on every each and every page load it will be changing like uh, entry title entry header entry footer like that and, uh, and in that case, only few words or few letters will be fixed and rest will be changing on each and every load. So in that case, how we will take uh, XPath and locator because if simply if we give complete name, then it might fail in the uh, next load, right? So what we have to do, we have to take only that part which is always fixed. Suppose... This is now entry title and in the next low it is coming as entry footer and in the third low it is coming as entry header. So what we have to do if, if we see the pattern only entry is always fixed and rest is keep changing. And in some cases it is like entry title 1, entry title 2, entry title 3. So in that case also number is adding up. So we cannot give complete one. We can give only part of that one. Partial value we can give. We can't give complete value so in that case how we will take locator so for those cases we use regular expression to uh, take the locators regular expression means we are matching partial part of the uh, value and then checking if it is cs then of course it will pass otherwise it will fail so partial value in this case it can be entry it can be title uh, it can be uh, anything based on your website and your page what you are going to take so here in that case i will show you if we see how to take regular expression see in this case if we write simple css selector what it could be it could be h1 braces and then tag name is class right equals to single slash and just give entire class name it's very easy right one element matching but what in next load in entry title is changing to entry title one entry footer entry header so what we will do in that case we will take only which is the fixed part of the class name or whatever attribute we are taking suppose here we are taking class so we will talk about class only so if we take only entry what will happen see it is failing it is showing there are no entry matching because we are trying to find out complete entry uh, class which is not present here it is entry title class so what we have to do is we give we have to use a regular expression and in CSR selector it is very very easy we need not to do anything only the fixed part we have to write and after the attribute we have to give star star represents regular expression and now hit enter see it is highlighting this part it is showing one element matching right like this we should always use regular expression in css selector now we we should uh, we will see how to take it in the xpath sometimes we use xpath people frequently use xpath so how we will do xpath now in that case first write simple xpath so uh, xpath start with double forward slash then tag name 
H1, sorry, H1 braces at the rate class equals to and then class name. See, now also one element matching. Now, what if this class name is changing every time or it is very big and it is having so many numbers and all to the last it is keep keep changing so if we if suppose only entry is the fixed part and if we write entry again it will fail because anyways it is trying to do the exact match which is obviously not happening so to tell locator that we are not here for do exact match we are just doing the partial match and wherever it is matching please go and perform the action so in the x path to use regular expression what we are supposed to do is we have to do see double forward slash h1 i'll tell you let me take this out see this is simple how we write then inside this we write at the rate tag so first we have to write contains here we don't use star here we tell it's an english word simply it see it's a very uh, meaningful word contains we need not to even remember also right star somehow we have to think that what we use for uh, uh, using regular expression but in x part we need not to even think that we need to use x part contains is a very uh, normal english right so we are telling selenium that wherever this this property has contains this this value please go and perform the action so contains and then braces and then here we have to write at the rate that attribute name is class and will not do the equals here because we are not looking for exact match right so we'll write in single slash we'll give comma and we'll write in single slash and of course we will remove the title see here it is showing one element matching so we got the x path also using regular expression and please remember that in regular expression for x path we don't use star we we give him just simple english command contains so in this tag h1 you go and whatever class contains entry this string you please go and perform the action so guys i hope it's very easy and you have liked my video Thanks for watching it. Thank you very much.